Okay, if you own a 2015 Kia Soul and you've been looking online for a video on how to wire an amp to your dash here, I'm here to save you because I looked all over the internet for something and I could not find a thing. Now, before I get into this, I'm going to let you know, I will have to rewire my power cord or my, um, my connection cable to the battery because I'm going to have electrical interference because of the way I had to wire this lazily, I'd say. Because see, here's my remote cable and my um, input cables and the biggest problem was I couldn't figure out how to remove the console to wire them in that way so what I did was here let me just go to the back Ugh. Let's open this because I'm going to show you that I disconnected my battery so I don't have any lights in here so I have a 1200 watt Planet Audio amp and basically uh, this remote wire and these two wires I have going under the seat and the back here. If you didn't know, your back seat will just pop right up and get under here so you can see. It just flows right down. I have it hidden right under the seat and I have it going through here. Well, yes, I know it's like right next to the power cable, but I couldn't figure out how to run the cable to the head unit because I looked everywhere and unless you take the center console out, there's like no way to get it in here. I looked under the footwell on the passenger side. I looked everywhere. It's a lot harder than my Kia Soul I did. Um, so basically what I ended up trying was I stuck my phone in here and I let the flashlight and I could see holes where I could see holes. Well, driver's side, this panel right here, where well, there's a screw holding it right here and right here. And all I did was I took the cover off of this off of the fuse box and then I just took this and I unscrewed it and then I just took the thing right here I pulled and it just pops right off okay and there's like a little oh sorry there's a hole that'll feed right the cords right through here so all I did was and yes I again I will have to re redo this anyway so I took my cords and I just I flipped them under this right here just tucked them under there and then I took them all the way up there and put it around uh, this right here and I tucked them under here like that and then they just I just pulled them up as you see I just I fed them up through here and I just pulled them out right there it's very simple it took me like a couple hours to figure out how to do it but if you uh if you don't want to have to take your center console out and you don't really care about hiding your wires all that much then that's a very very simple way to do it and then when you go to put the panel back on just clip the little clips right here put the little clips right here Hang on. Boop, boop. clip clip and then you put this little thing back here for your fuses Ugh. maybe if i know how to put it in there that's what she said that's what he said okay hang on there we go okay and then you just put the two screws back in there, and then you're all good. I still have to order a mounting bracket, but I was just trying to get ahead of the game and get my wires all ready to go. So, I'm very happy, although I am going to have to re redirect my power wire, which, again, another thing, too, I couldn't really find a way to put this in the hood without having to make it visible. So, I mean, the only way to really do it is to blow it through here unless somebody knows something else you find something better than do it but as far as I could think is like there's a screw right here and you just unscrew that and this little doodad comes loose and you can throw that wire through there and then you just wire it through here and then obviously just navigate it to the back and I have mine going under my back seat and then I have it coming up under the seat and connected so that's just a little quick tutorial again just feed the wires under like the side panel on the console, like right there, and then tuck it up under there, under the foot panel. It's the easiest way to do it without taking your center console out. So I hope this was helpful.